This is the integrated math one practice test for the 10 ready test. I think it says TCAP on the front, but that's okay. Question number 19, we're in subpart number two, so we can use calculator if we want. You know, choose your own adventure. The question says the Boonville History Museum, which um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're trying to be local or it could be any Boonville. I know that you can go to a uh, really cool Santa. They have walkthroughs of the Boonville Sanitarium uh, in Arkansas, but I don't know if that relates here. Anyway, whatever. Uh, they had 25,000 visitors in 1980. The number of visitors has decreased by 2.5% each year. That's an important component. The decreased thing matters. Whereas, I mean, it's easy to get into this type of problem and think, oh, I'm always going to be adding, but not here. We're actually going down. Nobody's going to the Boonville History Museum anymore. So they want to write, or people are going, just not as many. Maybe everybody's been. They need to get some, like, kid-centric thing there. Put some minions in there. Kids will go. Write a function to represent the number of visitors to the Boonville History Museum T years after 1980. So we're starting here, and this is a percentage. Anytime you have some sort of expression that you have to create and you're writing a function, if you see a percentage there, it is highly likely that that percentage is going to be uh, will mean or indicate, I'm sorry, that you are using an exponential function and that's what you're doing here as well. Because it's not a specific amount being reduced each year. It doesn't say 25 less people went. It's telling you 2.5% of the year at the time. So when you lose 2.5% of 25,000, the amount that you get from there, the next year, 2.5% of that number is what's decreased. That's how exponential functions work. So Usually I'm going to start out with what I have here, 25,000. And the thing is, I can't just multiply 25,000 by 2.5%. First off, I need to convert 2.5% to a decimal, so uh, 0 0.025, or 0 0.025 if you like it. So just take 2.5%, swish, swish, because it's out of 100. So there you go. I need to convert that. The other part is if I multiply 25,000 by 2.5%, uh, I end up with 625. That's great. That's the amount that it decreases. The problem is if I just do these two multiplied together, I'm just going to end up with 625. And what do I do with that? That's not what I want. What I want to know is how much remains after I lose 2.5% uh, of my current amount. So what I need to do is also multiply 25,000 by 1. So I need to say, starting with 25,000, I'm going to put those two parts together. 25,000 times 1 will give me 25,000. And 25,000 times 0 0.025 will give me minus 625, which gives me somewhere in the range of 24,375, something like that. But by having both parts, so something to represent both of these, then I can get to that number that I'm looking for. So when you set this up, make sure you have 1 minus 0 0.025. Now, if it were increasing, like people, they get those minions in there and the Boonville History Museum starts hopping, they're getting 6 to 7% increases per year, um, then you would just add. That's the only difference. So if it's an increase, it's plus, and if it's a subtraction, it's minus. They're talking about annual change here, uh, so I don't have to do anything weird with this number. If they were, they said we wanted to calculate it monthly, this problem wouldn't really do that, but um, a problem where you use an exponential and you're calculating it monthly, you need to divide this annual rate, which is what that would represent then, by 12, and then do it by whatever the number of terms times 12. But you don't have to worry about that here, because we're just doing, we worry about what happens every year. So I'm going to combine these two together. Oh, I said it was exponential. What's the exponent? The uh, number of years. So they tell me, write a function v of t for the number of years. And I've encircled t right there. So it goes right there. So I'll say v sub t, or v of t, sorry. v as a function of equals this and this. So I need to do a little bit of adjustment here. 1 minus 0 0.025 gives me equals 25,000 times 0 0.975 and that's raised to the t power. 
and I'm going to erase that because it just ran into itself, which would be ridiculous. It's not helpful to you. Just like this, and pretend this is a T, it doesn't look like a plus, it should be in the exponent slot. I think the key is actually missing that part for some reason, so uh, be aware that there are things may shift in transit, I guess, and it's not exactly it. You should also definitely have the V uh, as a function of T part, and I think that's also missing in the key. So if you have all of these parts, you're good to go. So what were the key takeaways? If it's a percent, if you see a change in percent, it's probably an exponential function. So with the exponential function, you need to multiply by the current amount times itself, and then if you're adding or subtracting a percentage, you need either plus or minus. Combine all that together, and if it's done by the year, you just raise it to the number of years or time periods or whatever they're doing, and then you should get to your answer. So that's it. Tw v of t equals 25,000 times 0.975 raised to the t power.